Hey guys, so this is the start of a new writing vlog for NaNoWriMo. Um, it is day 11, it's November 11th, so it's day 11. And it's currently like 3.31, yes, it's 3.31 p.m. right now. I'm about to get started with writing for the first time today. So the plan for today is to write, obviously, and I also want to finish reading Queens of Fenburn by Kendar Blake. This is two short stories set in the world of um, Three Dark Crowns. Um, I only have like a few pages left of the first story, which is called The Young Queens. And then the second story is called The Oracle Queen. I've really been enjoying reading, um, getting the backstory of when um, the three queens were young and um learning about that and i'm excited to see what the oracle queen the oracle queen is about but yeah that's the plan for today so it's writing and finishing this book but yeah that's all i have for right now and i'm gonna get to writing finally <laughs> so it's 4 22 p.m right now and i just finished my first writing session for today and i wrote 502 words in that first session i'm definitely gonna do a second one today and hopefully um i write a good amount of words like the first session um so my document total that i have is um for words it's 9167 words and my total for NaNoWriMo right now is 5,924 words. So uh, I'm making, so I'm making um, small progress throughout um, each day, but I'm pretty happy with that. Because like I've said before, um, I'm not sure in which vlog, but I've said before that uh, when I started this um, writing project before, I would write like a few words um one day and then like two months later I'll write again like a few other words so I was making continuous progress I, when I was first working on this but now working this in November and trying to write so far I've written nine out of the 11 days that NaNoWriMo has been going on for and this is the most progress I've made the entire time I've been working on this project. So I'm so far really proud of myself for for just like working on it. And even when I felt that <clears throat> this wasn't going anywhere and that maybe my story was kind of dumb <laughs> to say the least, um, I just kept pushing myself and I just kept reminding myself that you have to start somewhere and that as most people say your first draft is gonna be crappy and this is it's crappy <laughs> I mean there's no way around it I've never written any I've never written a book before this is my first time doing this so um, I'm just right now I'm just like spilling out the story just like vomiting the story out and then once I'm done with it and I'm editing it, I'll fix it um, and make it more detailed and all that stuff. Because right now it's a crappy draft, which um, like I've heard a lot of like writers um, like on YouTube or whatever, um, they say your first draft is going to be crappy. Especially this is the first time I'm writing anything this like... Um, this long like I've written um, stuff for school like fictional stuff for school um, but nothing to the extent of this so this is definitely a first um, and I'm learning um, trying to figure things out but yeah I'm like I said I'm really proud of myself so far we're ready nine days out of the 11 days so far I thought I would be doing a little bit more better than I am but 
again like i've said this is my first time doing this so for my first time doing this and i'm literally not a professional writer um actually i would say that writing um yeah writing is actually <laughs> my weakness one of my weaknesses like i've always struggled in school with spelling and grammar so um this is definitely a challenge but you need to you know you need to challenge yourself in life and um that's the only way you're gonna get better at things is if you just try it and try to learn and yeah and just push yourself to do the things that um you're not great at the more you do it the more you improve that's what i'm trying to say but even though definitely like spelling and grammar is my weakness is it always has been um i will say reading has helped a lot with that and also i do i really enjoy stories like i enjoy like a good book and i enjoy like a good movie a good tv show with like um a good plot and just like good storytelling i i love stories so so even though spelling and grammar is not one of my strengths um i always have enjoyed storytelling so so it so it's fun to um to have come up with an idea for a book and to try and write the story what i'm trying to say is um is that you shouldn't let your weaknesses um hold you down i'm i don't know what i'm talking about i'm like rambling and i'm just like saying things anyways more of the story story is work on your weaknesses don't give up and and do what you love that's what i'm gonna leave you with for right now and i'll talk to you again once i have another writing session Hey guys um this is gonna be the last update for today i just had a second writing session let me get my thing my bob um so this second writing session i wrote 601 words which put my um document total to 9768 words and i put my nanowrimo total to 6525 words so um this today has been a really good writing day i'm actually kind of shocked <laughs> yeah i think if i keep going at this pace i will i will finish off pretty well um i don't think i'm going to hit the fifty thousand words for nanowrimo but i'm okay with that that's fine but yeah my goal for the second writing session was to do another 500 words and i did a 100 words more so that's a plus I don't know why I almost did that. Anyways, so yeah, that's a plus. So yeah, I wrote a hundred more words than I than my goal was for the second writing session. Um, so that's gonna be it for today. Um, so I'll update you guys again tomorrow for what is it, day twelve? Yes, day twelve. Hey guys, so it is what day is it? It is Monday, day twelve of Nanorimo, November twelfth. <laughs> um. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what's been going on so far today. It is, it's 5.08 p.m. Um, I haven't done any writing yet because um, I was editing my vlog, my nano, my nano Ramo vlog for this past week. So that's up now. So if you haven't seen that yet, um, I'll put a card up as being as its corner. Or is it this one? I'll put a card up in one of the cor whichever corner it is. Um, in case you haven't seen that vlog yet. Yeah, so I've been doing that. I've also been getting distracted by... I've still been getting distracted by the new Backstreet Boys song, Chances. <laughs> um, while I was making a thumbnail for um, last week's vlog, I was 
um, listening to the song and like singing and whatever. Also, I also got distracted by um, the bookshelf that I have near my desk. For some strange reason, I decided to rearrange it. So that took a minute, <laughs> a good couple minutes. So that's what I've been up to today. Um, right now, I'm watching Haley and Bookland's NaNoWriMo vlog um, for the past week. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to eat something because all I've had today was cereal. So I need some food in myself. So I'm going to do that. And then um, after I eat, that's when I'm going to get to writing. My goal for today is just to um, write at least 500 words just because it's already so late. Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to get in two sessions, two writing sessions before midnight so the goal right now is just oh look Milan <laughs> distractions um yeah so the goal for today is just to I write at least 500 words before midnight yeah so that's the goal and I'll um let you guys know how that goes I'll either update you again once I write or I'll update you again tomorrow so yeah that's my update for now Hey guys, so it is November 13th, so that means it's um, day 13 of NaNoWriMo. Um, it's currently 3.51 p.m. and I have not written anything yet today. Yeah, I might write for like an hour, like 30 minutes before I go out. I'm gonna target like my favorite place <laughs> I need a few things well I need a few things so I'm going to Target yeah um I haven't ran today but I think before it's four I'm going later so I'm thinking about like writing for like maybe like 30 minutes before I leave and see how many words I can get in in 30 minutes I might do like 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know yet. But once I get some writing done, I'll let you guys know and update you get and update you guys then. Oh, and yesterday I did end up hitting, I said I wanted to write at least 500 words and I wrote a little bit over 500. So that's good. So yeah, so I'm going to write in a few. Yes, I'm gonna write in a few and then I'll let you guys know um, how many words I get done in like 30, 30, 40 to an hour. Yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys so I just had a little writing session and I ended up writing 326 words it's 437 right now um I could have kept writing but I got to a point where I'm not sure what I want I don't know I got to a point where um I'm not exactly sure what I want to happen next so instead of just like sitting in front of my laptop just thinking like what should happen next I decided just to stop and um to and just think about it yeah so oh so I wanted to talk to you guys about um so last night after I did some writing I ended up watching a Hallmark movie because that's what I do this time of year um called The Mistletoe Inn and it was about um, an inspiring writer that she, she goes to like a writing retreat in Vermont. And I'm like, why can't that be real? <laughs> um, I'm like, I want to go to Vermont 
<laughs> and bright. That'd be fun. Especially this time of year. That'd be nice. Um, anyways, yeah, um, um, I decided to watch the movie because I'm like, oh, it's like perfect. Um, it's a Christmas movie and it's about writers. Um, but yeah, the movie was really cute and, um, and in a way very inspiring to like, um, because she's like a struggling writer. She's never had, she never let anyone read anything that she has written, um, and, um, the retreat that she went to, um, it really helped her and pushed her to, um, finish her manuscript and to finally let someone read it. So it was in a way inspiring and, um, and you know, you get all the, all the Christmas feel, so that's good. And then also I was watching this movie, right? And then there at the end, right? And then I'm like, why does this inn look familiar? And then I realized, um, she go, cause, um, obviously it's a Hallmark movie, so there's a love interest. So, um, her hotel room is across the way from his, like in the hallway, like, um, her hotel room is here and his is like here or the other way around, whatever. Anyways, so I'm like, this like, and like there was like um i don't know just like that part of like the hallway and then there was like um it like it was like the second floor and it overlooked like the the downstairs and i'm like this looks so familiar and then i realized oh my god and like the doors look familiar <laughs> and i'm like where i'm like i must have seen somewhere um like a show or a movie that they filmed at that at the same like hotel and whatever. Then I realized where I've seen it from, and it was um, the "To All the Boys I Loved Before" movie. So the um, hotel they're staying at um, for the ski trip that it was literally the the same rooms and everything because I could see that the room um, in the mistletoe Inn, it said 213 so then i had to look up on google like um the part where spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie the part where um laura jean and peter are like they're like in, when he like takes her to her room after the whole hot tub scene situation um so then i kept looking at like gifts and I'm trying to see like behind peter's head to see the hotel room um, number and it was the same number and the same door and everything and I'm like yeah that's where I, that's why this hotel looks so familiar it's because I have seen it before anyways getting off that tangent <laughs> um, yeah I'm done writing for right now I'm just gonna think about how I want to continue on um, the story and then once I'm inspired again, I'll continue writing. I want to get an idea of how, what should happen next. And um, I'm going to Target later, like I said before. And I'm excited because I haven't been in a while, but I'm hungry. So I'm trying to figure out what I should eat. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. And I'll update you guys again either later today or tomorrow. So it's bye for now. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to come on here and is 10 44 p.m i still have only had one writing session but i'm about to start a second one and i still don't know um what's gonna happen next how i'm gonna continue on but i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna write some words um and yes i am going to write in bed because i can't do that <laughs> um i've done some really good writing sessions done in bed so yeah that's what's happening oh yes and i did go to target i got a few i finally got glue stick because um i write down my word counts and my writing sessions um on this and on um, each every day and then um once i'm done for the day i 
I rip it off and then uh, I was taping it onto a page on this notebook and then writing down my thoughts um, for the day so quick glimpse so like that but I was taping it before because I didn't have, I didn't have glue sticks but I finally got glue sticks so I glued them all on instead of using tape yes yeah so that's what's happening I'm gonna write some words and I'll see you guys I think I'm a, yes I I will update you again I will update update you guys I can't speak and I will update you guys again tomorrow hey what's up guys it is it is November 13th the 15th day of NaNoWriMo and it is 5 24 p.m. and I have written zero words today okay so I need to update you guys on yesterday because I didn't vlog yesterday and that's mainly because I didn't write yesterday yeah I didn't write any words yesterday it was a long day so um yeah but something exciting happened yesterday something kind of unexpected but expected so basically I ended up ordering um Backstreet Boys concert tickets yeah um so that's gonna be happy next year what that's gonna be happening next year so I'm super excited for it yeah that's the main thing that happened yesterday I didn't write and I bought Backstreet Boys concert tickets yeah that's pretty much all that happened yesterday um so the plan for today it's almost 5 30 What is that? Do you hear that? I hope that's a snowblower. <laughs> Speaking about snow, it is November 15th and it's snowing outside. Like what? I will show you guys the snow because it's, it's snowing. But it's already dark outside. It, it looks so weird outside. It's a weird color. But it's already pretty dark out so you won't be able to see anything. But yeah, it's snowing and I'm probably gonna start reading at like six. Um and I don't know if I'll update you guys again today. Um if I do then awesome. If I don't then I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the seventeenth, the eighteenth, what day is it? So it's the seventeenth, November seventeenth, the seventeenth date of Nanoramo. And I haven't written in like three days. And that's um, Wednesday, a lot was going on, so I didn't write. Thursday, I was in a mood. And then Friday, I started to feel sick. So, um, Friday and today. So, I've been feeling under the weather. So, I haven't written because I've been pretty much just sleeping. Um, trying, to, trying to sleep off whatever it is that I have. Um, so this is the end of this week's vlog. Yeah, because it's Saturday. So today's the last day of this week's vlog. I'm going to start a new one tomorrow for the next week. Hopefully have a, the second half of Nanoramo goes better than the first half. But tomorrow I, um, so tomorrow I'm going to a book fair and I'm going to try and film a little bit of that. I'll do my best. Um, yeah. I'll do my best if I'm a little bit there. So that'll be in next week's writing vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just end um, this week's writing vlog. So yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!